Hi, it's Neil Porter from the Zweebin team at Douglas Elliman. I'm here with one of my favorite people. Oh, I, I hope it's me. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's running late, so while we wait for him, I thought I would interview uh, my, my chef, uh, our team leader, someone I really like and look up to. Um, and so, Paul, I wanted to ask you, um, how's it going so far on the Zweebin team? You mean post-COVID? Um, it was a joke because, okay. you, you know, you're a co-founder of the team. Yes. Your wife, Carolyn. Uh, both, both, yeah. of, both of them are my mentors, and uh, I've learned a lot about real estate, um, and and it's it's been a real pleasure. But I really wanted to interview you. No, so do it. So yeah, so I'm asking. All you. right, so how is it going? I would say post COVID, now that we are selling again, is you know in guys in um, in previous markets you had about a forty percent ratio of tire kickers, and right now it's about a ten percent ratio. So there are less buyers, but there are a higher quality buyer. I'll take a 10% tire kicker ratio compared to a 40% any day. Okay. What's your opinion on pocket squares? I, I love pocket squares. <laughs> um, listen, I didn't wear a suit until I was 42 years old. Right. I mean, I wore a suit in 1977 for my bar mitzvah. It was powder blue with a big old collared shirt. Um, it looked like I was on Ocean's Eleven, but I didn't wear suits my whole life, so pocket squares are a really important, integral part of my life. Paul, how tall are you? I'm six foot one. You're six foot one. Okay, you look six foot one. And uh, where was your first apartment in New York City? My first apartment in New York City, oh my god, it was on, oh, 175 Prospect Park Southwest. It was a one bedroom, hello sir, it was a one bedroom apartment co op that I bought from the sponsor. It was $83,000. Um, no one knew where Windsor Terrace was. Right. The sponsor went bad on us, and two years later, the market crashed, and the same apartment in a higher floor in my line sold for $38,000. But in the long run, I rented it for like nine years, and I sold it, and I made about $150,000. So I think there's a message there, which is markets turn, markets turn around. Uh, be patient, but buy some place, even if it's for investment that you'd like to yeah. live in, if you had yeah. to. Um, God, there was something else, Paul. Um, what is what is your finest quality as a real estate agent? Um, it's very simple, and I'm being totally serious about this. What you see is what you get, and there's no bullshit. Okay. And what are you cooking for dinner tonight? Tonight, I don't know what I'm cooking for dinner. Okay. Um, I haven't been home since like 5.30 this morning because I went to Connecticut. And first time I've ever been on a boat on the, the what is it, the Connecticut shoreline? Um, I'm not sure. The New York, I don't know what it is, but it was the most, it was so beautiful. It was basically Connecticut and Manhattan, wow. and we can see the Manhattan skyline. I have no idea what I'm cooking for dinner. I think Nana's cooking. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you, Paul, for, You're being, welcome. for making the trip. All right. I appreciate it. Peace. You're the best. Bye.